last we spoke, I was going from hotel to hotel to... Okay, you heard enough of that. We finally, finally got the truck fixed. And <laughs> it took a lot of doing and a lot of money. But now we got Kit down here and we were boondocking for a while. But let me tell you, boondocking in the Bay Area is ticket getting is uh really stressful like even walmarts don't let you boondock in the area and um it's hot at least it has been so we finally found a place and it's in monterio and it's beautiful i'll show you around when my back isn't hurting and um and i'm really happy here i'm alone right now uh, and my back is hurting and I'm in bed, but it's beautiful outside and my kayak is broken, but it's going to get fixed and I will be able to kayak at will. Um, and I'm really happy. It's not our big, beautiful RV yet. Uh, we're, we're starting small and I have to drive like at least three to four hours a day to get Luna to and from school. Chris Ray has an hour, well, two hour commute basically daily, but it's beautiful and I think it's worth it so far. I guess we'll see when the weather gets bad, what that seems like at that point, but um, it's absolutely saving money. It's nowhere near Bay Area, Bay Area prices. It's like, it's like Bay Area coffee prices. I mean, it's not, but it is, you know, I'm really grateful right now. And RV life is not always the easiest life, but living on the river is almost impossible in any other life. So... This is our front yard, I guess. Not quite our backyard. The door comes out to this. This is not even great light. This is like evening. I'm coming down our little path, which as the story is told, last, I don't know the, the month, but last winter, fallish, whatever, there was a flood that flooded this entire thing like it was all underwater. Um, in fact, all the way up to the house, I think. And so there used to be a path that was a little more delineated, uh, but it all got swallowed and everything got everywhere. So this is more of a DIY path. A few steps that got excavated here. And then a few things still out here. A grill that's been put out here recently, obviously. And some boats and the beautiful river. God, it's just gorgeous. And uh, my podcast meditation guide told me to take a walk today. So, I mean, how can you live next to a river and not take that walk? I just love this, like, therein lies an adventure. It, if I took it, would I find Narnia? I am such a nerd, whatever. Look at these, made from driftwood. And I wonder if they've been made since the flood or if they were recovered from the flood. Wow. So cool. Bird. I drive by them every day and like just wanna just go slowly. Oh my god. This is probably the biggest example of flood damage that I've seen since I've been here. 
if I haven't said much about the floods previously, which I, I keep referring to it, I'm sure, but they, uh, last October-ish, about a year ago, I think I'm right on that, um, they came through here and completely overflowed the banks, swallowed a bunch of places, and, and the place looks great, but our road is kind of smushed in the middle, and this tree is now, uh, not the same. This whole area is not quite the same. Interesting. And I'll be interested in what this looks like a year from now. Does anybody else have a dog that is afraid of heights? Because as soon as I got up here, and he sat. He sat like he was supposed to. And then I tried to get him on my lap. And he's here, but he is petrified. He's so scared. Mm -hmm. He's scared. Well, please don't look at my teeth. Yeah, he's holding on to me very tightly. and uh, But he knows that that's a far drop. And I think he thought that maybe I would... I don't know. Does he think I'd do it on purpose? That makes me sad. I would not do it on purpose. I just came across the tiniest post office ever. And somehow I have left the town that I was in, which is... Monterio, and now I'm in Via Grande, I guess. But it's an unmanned post office, it seems. I wonder what these are for. Are these even in working order? Probably not. I assume not. There's nowhere to put things in them. But it's cute. I shall now continue along my walk. How is this place not so adorable? Oh, I saw a fairy ring too, I'll show you. So here, we have a fairy ring. As you can tell, there are a group of trees that surround, once upon a time, another tree that has since died. I would totally create something out of that if I had a place that had a fairy ring, a stage. It would definitely be a stage. I don't know why, but yes. Ready? Ready to go home? This for Yeah. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. I want to make, I don't know, something and put it in this tiny cave. I'm really like a wood sprite by day. Or would be if given the opportunity. This for just wants to pee on everything. He is not a wood sprite. This is what it looks like at home, and this is a few miles away. I can barely see through this stuff, and it hurts my eyes and my lungs.